This is the second of three videos to demonstrate how you can use first class editing techniques to enhance the presentation of your content. In the first video we focused on text styling and how to format and apply different styles to text. In this video we're going to add a foreground and a background image to our message. On my clipboard I have a copy of an image of a parent working with a child that I want to add to the left of the first paragraph. I copied that image from a graphics program or a website so now I can click at the beginning of the first paragraph and paste that image in. By default it pastes the image in line. First I can click on the image and change the orientation from inline to left. This places the image on the left and wraps the text around the borders of the image. The image is too large so I can select the image and either select a size from the selection list or grab one of the handles and manually resize the image to the size that I want. I want to force a clean break between the first and second paragraphs, so I click between the two and choose Insert Horizontal Line. I also have the option of formatting the background. I can click on the body of the message and choose Format Background from the Format menu. I can click on Use Color and pick a color. This is not the effect that I'm looking for, however. What I'm going to do instead is choose an image, so I uncheck the Use Color and instead click on Use Image and browse my computer for a suitable background image. The image can be positioned at the top left, which would be good for a banner graphic, or it can be tiled to run the entire length of my message. As this background image encroaches on the text, I'm going to select all of the text and move the margin in from the left. But notice now that the first paragraph is indented too far, so I select the text and click on the Decrease Indent button a couple of times to bring it back to the right of my image. Also, the bulleted list is too far to the left, so I select the list and click on the Increase Indent button to move the content to the right. I also have to select my tabbed elements and move the tab margin. In the next video, we'll show you how you can work with tables to enhance the content even more. Thank you.